The Bible has nothing good to say about cowards. And what they're guilty of here, as many men are, is a sin of omission. There are two primary ways to sin. Commission, where you do the wrong thing. Omission, where you don't do the right thing. And a lot of men, our sin tends to fall in the pattern of our first father, Adam. It says when Satan showed up, he didn't say or do anything. He was passive. Passive men are a massive problem. I'll say it again. Passive men are a massive problem. That's why we say we build men up to bless women and children. And I just want to honor the men in this church. I'm not a flatterer. But as he honored those men, I want to honor our men. Our biggest ministry at this church is men's. Young men are getting activated. Young men are reading their Bible. Young men are praying. Young men are looking forward to getting married and loving their wives and leading their families and entering into this world with courage to say and do that which is right. And I'm just telling you, until the men change, nothing changes. But once the men start worshiping, everything starts changing. You show me a room filled with guys who have got beards and raise their hands and surrender to Jesus, but will put up a good fight to everyone else. And I'm telling you, that's the hope of the future right there. It's those guys. Those are the men here. Let me just go a level further. Here's what the Bible says about cowards. And we live in a day that is just filled with cowards. Just filled with cowards. Don't wanna say anything, don't wanna offend anybody, don't have any conflict, don't wanna get in trouble. You know, just, just make sure that I have the easiest life possible. Don't wanna do hard things. Here's what Jesus says later. He condemns them here and he does the same in Revelation 21, seven and eight, where Jesus is talking about who gets to heaven. Jesus is like, here's the people that aren't gonna make it. He says, the one who conquers, those are the courageous, they fight through their fear. I will be his God and he will be my son. Men, you can't be a son of God unless you're courageous and a conqueror. You've gotta get through your addiction, you gotta get through your fear, you gotta get through your insecurity, you gotta get through your pride to get to his calling. And then he goes on, he says, but as for the first word, cowardly, cowardly, cowardly. Goes on to say, the faithless, detestable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur. Jesus is like, you know what? There is a gate in heaven. Jesus is the gate. You can't get into that walled forever eternal home of heaven unless you pass through Jesus Christ the gate. And if he sees a coward, he's like, there's no, we don't have cowards here. There's no coward section in the kingdom of God. Cowards are not welcome in the kingdom of God. And he goes on to talk about what happens if you're a coward. He says, you are more likely uh, to be faithless, detestable, murder, taking human life, including unborn, sexually immoral, living, sleeping with someone you are not married to, sorcerers, demonic spirituality, but not the Holy Spirit, idolaters, worshiping someone or something other than God, and then wanting to argue about it, and he calls it all liars. You've got to check your heart. I've got to check my heart. We've got to check our heart. Am I willing to be courageous, say and do what is right, or am I a coward trying to find the path of least resistance? Cowards never get blessed, but the courageous do. Howdy, Pastor Mark here. Thanks for viewing the clip. And if you'd like the entire sermon, we've got it ready to go. 